truly was, <clears throat> boom, three or four years old, sitting in church in a pew, thinking to myself, okay, if God can hear me thinking, I wonder if anybody else can. So then I go through my little life, and then I'm doing this exact same thing with all my friends. We're playing games, Pictionary, whatever, and I'm getting it before they even say anything. I'm doing whatever we're playing, I'm guessing it before they're doing it. Then I kind of let it go because I didn't understand it and I didn't really, I, I didn't think anything of it. I was Catholic. So then I, I kind of let all that go because it wasn't part of my reality. It wasn't part of the Bible. It wasn't part of the culture I was raised in. So I didn't acknowledge it. But then I noticed that I was like, uh, kind of like about seventh grade. When I started going to public school, I noticed that I was about, I was really, really like a chameleon. And that everybody that I was around, I always ended up being like them. I, whether they were happy, I'd be happy. If they were sad, I'd be sad. If they were what, frustrated, I'd be frustrated. I, I would always feel them. I would always be right there with them. But I never understood because I was Catholic and because I had the belief that nothing. <laughs> because there was nothing, there were no answers to all this kind of stuff. Because this was the unknown. Um, and that's why it's such a problem with people. That's why they find such a problem with all the metaphysics and all that. All metaphysics is, is beyond physics. It, it's Physics is the first three dimensions of existence in this reality. You know, fourth the dimension is time, which is independent of the individual mind for creation of that reality based on the fourth dimension. So we don't actually perceive the fourth dimension at all because the fourth dimension is in our mind the perceived fourth dimension is watching the trees live and die watching the her the bird get hit by a car you know watching the fishermen catch the fish that is the the like actual fifth dimension of here and now because the fourth dimension is memory that's time so if that's that and that's that so that would obviously mean the sixth dimension is the future so that and that's how i've survived i've i've seen things and then i've waited for it to catch up in my life i would do what was necessary in the meantime to make that happen and then once that day happened it that would be the completion of the sixth dimension in my mind and i i don't know i forgot where i was going and i forgot where i started but that's the first three dimensions fourth dimension then fifth and then sixth that we're all moving into and fifth is here and now living the now because that's what it is and if you can't live in the now it's chances are it's because you are um, having a having a real problem with your emotional body which I haven't heard anybody talk about either and I mean really I mean I've heard, of course I've heard people talk about it but not in relation to anything just oh my gosh the emotional body blah 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 but the emotional body is actually is what we're feeling in the moment and, that, and that's what the um, fifth dimension is is what are you feeling right now because chances are those feelings are going to lead you to your destination of what you what you are seeking or what you are after um so i don't know it's feel the emotions understand the emotions when you feel an emotion don't associate it with a memory but rather associate it with the here and now, if you, you can't associate feelings with memories, because then when you do, that will be that'll be association, and then that'll just be you won't get anywhere, and that, that's proof based on my first client. So, have a good day. Bye.